With a 20-year reputation for clean business, Matt Glynn at Code Property Group is the first choice for real estate on the Sunshine Coast and surrounding areas. I've known Matt for a very long time from a personal level and professional level, and he is an excellent real estate agent. He's professional, he holds a high level of integrity, he presents incredibly well, and has a huge amount of knowledge when it comes to the real estate industry. So if you are in the market to buy, sell, or simply get a valuation and find out more about your current property, then give Matt a call on 0404 315 066 or matt.glynn, G-L-Y-N-N, at code PG. Dot com. You won't be disappointed. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Paul's Body Engineering Podcast. I'm coming to you, uh, it's just before 6am, I'm in my gym and it is cold. <laughs> it is very cold. Winter has officially uh, reached us and uh, that sort of gave me a, an idea for a topic for this week's podcast in that, you know, it's cold, it's dark, some days it's wet. So the incentive or the motivation to get out of bed and get the day started on the front foot uh, diminishes. You know, that um, that desire to stay in bed, stay warm, stay comfortable is always upon us and uh, it becomes an internal battle. It becomes a challenge each and every day. So for those of us that train first thing in the morning before work and get up early um, and haven't quite got that discipline down pat, and that's fine, you will probably have that battle and there'll be moments where you decide to stay in bed. But then there'll also be moments if you do make that decision to stay in bed that you have that regret afterwards. And, oh, damn, I should have gone to the gym, you know, feeling like you needed it that day. So I wanted to talk to you about a very simple application that can be done to help with those decision-making processes when, you know, these things have to be um, implemented. And and it's, it's, it's a simple process. It's a simple uh, strategy and uh, it's it's a lot a lot along the lines of the non-negotiables I've spoken about time and time again and this one is called the five second rule now there's been books written about it um, we often joke about it when you drop food on the floor you know or five second rule or three second rule whatever it is but in this instance it's it's a very good uh, accountable decision making strategy that enables you to make a decision like if you're a procrastinator and I very much am at times at least by giving yourself a countdown from five to one, you then have to, have to, and I mean this, have to make a decision. So for me in the mornings, um, it's a non-negotiable. So I don't generally have a problem getting up out of bed, even though it is cold. And I, I feel it. I do particularly feel it because we live in the country. So right now it's about five degrees where I live. It's uh, it's about seven in my gym at the moment. So it's still very cold for the Sunshine Coast. But I spring out of bed and I know... And I do this simply off the back of, and I'm kind of tangenting here a little bit. I, I, I spring out of bed simply because I have a family that relies on me. I have clients that I need to turn up for. So I've got a lot of responsibility on my shoulders to ensure that I get up, get ready, and get to work on time. So there's no opportunity for me to hit the snooze and go, oh, I'll just have another 10 minutes. I, I don't do that. But I completely appreciate those that do because... The bed's warm, it's comfortable, it's dark. I get it. I truly, honestly get it. And and on the weekend, I might make that decision. I might go, you know what, I'm going to lie in for another 10 minutes um, because I don't have that responsibility. But the five-second rule suggests that you need to make a decision within the first five seconds. So if you're going to get up, you get up and you hold yourself accountable. That you, you be honest, you hold yourself to your integrity, your ethics, and you go, right, I'm getting up, I'm getting up, I'm getting up. And then you have to physically make yourself do it. Because otherwise, if you don't, well, firstly, you've broken your own rule, okay? And secondly, you will be disappointed with yourself later on. And this is also a, an ability, and this is a great opportunity to really build some discipline and some habits through winter. You know, the old saying goes that um, the summer body's built in winter, right? And, and it's, it's effectively true because when summer effect, you know, summer is upon us, which is what? Um, you know, maybe November, December, depending on how you look at it, 
it's almost too late to try and make a physical change simply because we know it takes time. We know you need time. Whereas if you commence or continue through winter, um, even though you're wrapped up, you're rugged up, it's cold, etc., you'll make the progress because you're continuing the good work that you're doing. And those habits that I'm talking about can be ingrained through tougher times. So through summer, it'll be a breeze because you've gotten out of bed in the cold or you've gone to the gym in the cold, you've worked out in the cold. So through summer, it's going to be a piece of cake for you to continue on your merry way when it comes to training. So five second rule is a great application. It really is. It's going to give you a skill set. It's going to give you more discipline and it's going to give you an opportunity to really hold yourself accountable. Um, And look, you know, you can work in tangent with your partner. If you've got a partner in the same bed and they know that you're doing this, they will give you an elbow or they will Maybe they need to get up as well. And you can work in tandem, work as a team and go, right, we need to make this thing happen so that we get up out of bed and we get to the gym. Maybe you go together. Or, you know, if you're shift workers or anything like that, at least you've got the opportunity to lean on each other for accountability purposes. But the five-second rule can apply to a number of different things too. It can apply, it can apply in the gym. So, you know, if you've got, if you're up to a point where training's becoming quite challenging, And I mean, you know, just in terms of the general output, use the five second rule to to make that decision. Don't feel that you can go, oh, I'm just going to skip this set today because I just don't feel like it. No, 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 no. Within five seconds, you make that decision, right? No, no, I'm not backing out. I will commit to this. And again, that whole regret side of things comes into play because, and and I can only speak from myself and and those that I've chatted to over a number of years, um, you can have a lot of uh regret you know it's almost like buyer's remorse in that you don't um you know you don't hold yourself to a higher standard all the time so when that little voice inside you goes it's okay don't you know just back off or or skip this last set it's okay no 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 five seconds right i'm gonna do it i'm absolutely gonna do it and you know when we're when we're in these circumstances where it's cold Okay, we're less likely to challenge ourselves because of that fact, because we want to be comfortable. And that's and that's the key here. We want to be comfortable. We want to stay in that comfort zone. We want to be warm. We we don't want to put ourselves into a further uncomfortable state. It's already cold, so therefore we're going to the gym cold. Therefore, you know the the, the training application can be quite challenging or more challenging than normal because you haven't effectively gotten into that place, but. You just have to give yourself an opportunity to warm up. So on a colder day, and again, I'm tangenting a little bit, just give yourself maybe one or two extra sets. You might want to, like I remember um, several times through winters, I've gone in and, and walked on the treadmill or I've done a little bit of a cross trainer, um, you know, cr- use the cross trainer simply to warm my body up because it is cold, let's face it. And you can't lift heavy when you're cold. So you need to make sure that you are warming yourself up correctly and for an adequate amount of time. And it might take 15 or 20 minutes that's okay. Experience the difference with Matt Glynn at Code Property Group. With a 20-year reputation of a clean business, Matt is your guy when it comes to all things real estate. Make sure you give him a call now on 0404 315 066. Are you looking to shed a few kilos, change your composition, improve your relationship with food, increase your strength, or simply just have a better accountability level? then maybe coaching is for you. I now offer online coaching in a number of capacities from week to week, fortnightly, monthly, and of course, nutrition only coaching. So if you are interested or wanna know more, simply jump on paulsbodyengineering.com or simply send me a DM. Because you'd rather do that, get into your set, do your sets properly, do your session properly, and walk away feeling vindicated and satisfied than underperform simply because you've turned up. And yes, the old saying goes, look, at least you turned up. Absolutely. I completely appreciate that and I completely support that. But if you are an experienced lifter or have been going to the gym for a long period of time, you want to make every session count, right? So the application to ensure that you are warm is very, very important. So once you're warm, you use that five second rule. Okay. Every single exercise, don't back down, don't back down, don't back down. I've got five, four, three, two, one, let's go. And if you continually embrace that and acknowledge it, but also, you know, hold yourself to a standard, you know, think of yourself. We, I thought about this on the way home yesterday. You know, we often, we, we can be very lazy and we can back off 
on things that are uncomfortable. But professional athletes and top field athletes do not. They don't have the opportunity to do it because they've got competition. They've got rivals. They've got people that they need to um, you know, represent. So they hold themselves to a high standard. There's no reason why, as an individual, you can't emulate that. Yes, you don't have the, the endorsements or the sponsorship or the management or the trainers, but you can still think of yourself like an athlete. Like at the end of the day, an athlete is defined by someone who um, is good at what they do effectively, right? So if you are a regular gym goer, you could effectively call yourself an athlete. If you have been going to the gym for a long time, there's no reason why you can't refer yourself as an, refer to yourself as an athlete. There's no reason at all. So why not? But with that terminology, with that label, you need to then hold yourself to a higher standard, therefore be accountable, therefore perform, therefore keep your five-second rule going every single lift, every single session, and make sure that you firstly go back to my original point, get out of bed and treat yourself like an athlete. Like think of um, top-end swimmers. You know, they get to the pool at 4 a.m. because they've got, obviously got to spend time doing laps. It would be freezing. And I imagine some of the pools would be warm, but not warm enough to warm them up, if you know what I mean. Like, it would be lukewarm. So they're still going to feel the pinch. Therefore, they've got to get going. They've got to warm up and they've got to get into the groove. And just getting out of bed at that time would be tough, particularly those that live in the southern states. So, yeah, it's a, it's a challenging one. So going back to my original point and the message of this podcast, the five second rule. I encourage everyone to apply it now. You know, thinking, driving in this morning, it's about a 20 minute drive from my home to my work. Um, and I was thinking about this particular podcast and the application of this strategy. And it can be really successful for someone who actually wants to make a change. If you desperately want to make a change, you know, make a decision around your exercise, make a decision around nutrition, you know, because when someone procrastinates around nutrition, they tend to go for convenience. They tend to lean towards something that is easy to make, easy to prepare, already prepared in advance because they just can't decide on something more healthy, right? It's a, it's a common trait. Therefore, if you give yourself only five seconds, you go, okay, I'm going to make a salad and this is what it involves. Done. That took two seconds. Whereas if you push the five seconds and then you start to procrastinate and you start to waver on your decision and you just go, oh, fuck it, I'll just go and have this. Straight away, you've made a poor decision. Even though you want to hold yourself to a better place, you want to hold yourself to more better decision because you know better nutrition is going to serve you well. So you can't just, you know, and I'm going to quote Kelly Greenslade, you can't throw it, put it, you know, put it in the fucket bucket and just give up on what you're trying to achieve. You know, this is where, um, you know, goals get pushed to the side or people come up with excuses and excuses can seriously be made through the winter months because it is tougher you know there's no denying it's harder it's harder to get up out of bed it's harder to get motivated you know if the westerly start blowing it's harder just to get to the gym because it is cold you know but with good habits with good discipline and with as many strategies as you can implement and this being one of them you will have success no one's expecting to be perfect and i think that's the other thing too and i've done a podcast on podcast on this you don't have to be perfect Okay, but you just have to be good and you have to be consistent. And I know that's such a cliche, but it is so, so true. I did a, um, a consult with a, a potential new client last night and I spoke to her about just the need for consistency. There's no expectation of perfection. It's purely consistent. If you turn up and you do your best on a day to day basis while managing every other aspect of your life, well, then you've improved straight away. You've improved and that will lead to better results straight away. So this is a strategy that can be implemented that you probably don't already have. And let's face it, five seconds is nothing. But if you put it into practice with getting up out of bed, with your training, with your nutrition, with any decision making that you have to do, force yourself to make a decision within that five seconds, you're probably going to find that you're going to make better decisions. You're going to make clearer decisions. Generally, the first decision is the right one, as they say. And you're also going to emulate or create more efficiency within your life. Therefore, less procrastination, better decision-making, better um, uh, things that will turn out to be the right path for you. So, yeah, I think that's a pretty good way to uh, to get through winter. So, look, I'll finish up there. I won't uh, go around in circles too much. So thank you once again for tuning in. I hope this has been advantageous. I hope someone who's listening, um, namely 
anyone <laughs> gets a lot out of this. You know, these um, these little tidbits and, and tricks and tactics and strategies that I come up with, uh, they're not mine, obviously. They're, uh, they're tools that just I come across and I go, you know what, that would be great to share. And I try and share these things across as many platforms as I can because at the end of the day, my job is to help people. My job is to make people better. Um, and if we can implement simple yet effective strategies to do that, then it's a win-win. So thank you once again. I really appreciate you tuning in. Please screenshot and share this podcast on your stories. Tag myself, Paul's Body Engineering. If you're interested in any of my coaching services, please jump on paulsbodyengineering.com. Have a look around. Or alternatively, the link in my bio on Instagram has all of my services available, including my membership, which at the moment is 14 days free. First 14 days for free. Um, outside of that, you're welcome to message me, DM me, send me an email if you've got any queries, come in for a free consultation. So without further ado, as I say to every client every single day, have a great day.